Hello and uh, welcome back, everybody. We are gonna have a treat tonight. We got CPL Premier game going on. Freritos de la Vega, the champions of this last CWC, going, being challenged <laughs> versus Gold by Library. We're gonna see on the other side the big boys, Elegant, and we got DGS, we got SND, and Elephant Guy. Oh. Oh, they will have a run for their money tonight. We're gonna have Tirits on the other side, on Freditos, T-Tube, we got Ulas and I believe under the gun, the one and only UTG is joining in their roster. We're gonna need to see how uh, they're gonna fare tonight. Of course, uh, there were a bit of few changes uh, from the last week to this week. Um, a few civilizations did get unbanned, so the players can actually make good use of them. We're gonna need to see if they did have uh, their experience going, and of course, we're gonna need to see what they will uh, do here. Hello there, Sasu. Good evening, sir. We do have Heinic Dave. Good morning, sir, and welcome to the stream. <laughs> Tito's. Hello. I gotta check that out with the V60. I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna check it out for sure after the stream uh thank you so much for uh, the um, suggestion uh linda hello there ma'am and welcome happy easter indeed to all that celebrated today as we say in romanian jesus has risen yes we do have tv tuna hello there writing first in the channel hello sir and welcome to the stream yorkshire brit did pick up that first promotion and i do thank you so much sir for being there big shout out to yorkshire brit I do have to say um, we're still waiting for them to uh, get everything going and it does look like they were a bit, a bit confused about the bands, uh, even though the announcement has been... Um done uh, quite a while ago looking at uh, let me actually put it up on the screen the discord channel we have Menjak did make an announcement about the upcoming bbg uh, up changes and uh, of course um, uh, the newly auto banned civilizations in the competition so quite a few of them did get um, unbanned we do have still five bands uh, to work with uh, that's going to be babylon that's going to be maori that's going to be mali the mansa musa uh, it looks like elizabeth the first and uh, ludwig the second are gonna come up uh, right here in the game as bands there's also a suggestion channel going around if you do uh, feel like uh, there is a civilization that should actually get banned or unbanned uh it, it did start up over here as a player suggestion and i did put up to unbanning of uh, babylon because honestly you know it's uh we've seen it so many times in cvfr and come on man it didn't actually push anybody to get a win there <laughs> yes they did do um relatively well in the game but it wasn't enough for them to actually get the win uh good evening uh, v select and hello there's Sir, uh, let me actually also put up on the map here, on the screen here, so you can see the Premier Division uh, standings. You can actually access this page uh, with uh, the CPL.gg through the CPL.gg website, uh, and as you can see here, Forever Young is still leading the pack in the competition with seven wins and two losses this season. While Ulysses is coming up second with six and two, one last night with five and three. We got change of circumstances with four and two. They still need to actually play quite a few games. Uh, Freritos de la Vega actually still needs to play quite a few games it's on, on, on four and three Ali on Islands on uh, four and four called by library three and four so uh, a lot of games do need to be caught up over here uh we do have them actually all in the lobby I do believe I do hope actually uh, we're gonna see uh, the map uh, pool choices soon uh, we're gonna have quite a few uh, bands over here so we can figure out exactly what the map is and uh, I hope I hope honestly hope that it's only gonna be a few more uh seconds and uh, there we go. I totally forgot about that the light in the background. Uh, it's, ooh, 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 it's a lot of yellow today. It's a lot of yellow today. I am actually quite excited that um, we do have, um, um, again, sunshine outside. A lot of the days uh, before, in the previous week and the week before that, we actually had a lot of... Um, around zero degrees outside it was extremely cold very very uh, awkward to actually go outside and you know get some workout done and uh but oh my god it's starting again <laughs> so, 
yes summertime man it's starting to take shape um i also i do have to um, excuse myself for uh, the um, uh, lateness uh, that i had on the animation um earlier to uh, actually i don't know what got into me actually yesterday i went on to the satisfactory server not sure if you guys are familiar with uh, the server but uh, with uh, the game actually but satisfactory is an early access game it makes you build a factory on a new planet and so on and so forth and optimizing and uh, chaining production and, and so on it, it's quite complicated and um, I do like to play a lot with uh, my friends and we figured out that you know people just don't like to do math all of the time so zoning and automatic uh, calculations might be a real thing in the game so I, I did put up a suggestion oh my god oh my god so many of them uh, actually not from the company actually but other players will have different build uh how to say um uh, processes and uh, they were um um i would say yeah they were giving us advices on uh, different uh, sites without actually uh, attacking the subject at the hand or something like different you know and we were like, oh my god okay i mean sure we can talk about the game let's go let's go and uh, a few hours later i totally forgot that i actually had to do something i was there oh but you have to do this oh but uh, no you can do this you can do that and blah, 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 blah. oh my god so many details man so many details anyway coming back to the game here map pool choices we do have continents and islands inland sea primordial seven Sea, Steramap and Highlands coming up next. Uh, looks like uh, they did take out uh, Inland Sea. Well, we're gonna have uh, five more maps for them to uh, pick from. Uh, looks like they're taking a little bit of time to uh, find uh, this out and we're gonna need to see how uh, this is uh, gonna develop soon. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I do have to actually, uh, there we go, unclick this so we can have uh, the button button there. Yeah, uh, looks like we do have a bit of an indecision here on uh, Gold by Library, even though uh, Elephant Guy is on the buttons there, and they're taking their good old time to figure out what map they want to go for, and it looks like Seven Seas is going to get the axe, uh, Freritos de la Vega do seem a bit more um, concentrated on what kind of uh, map choice uh, they want to go for. Uh, oh, they say it bugged. Okay. Uh, it might have something to do with uh, the fact that they sweat, swapped sorts. And uh, yeah, it. Uh, they, uh, anyway, it is it, It's fine. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be fine. No boring lands. Oh, you're talking about the highlands? I, I, you, know, I, you know me. I, I'm going to try to make something out of highlands anyway. Uh, we do have. Uh, yeah, there we go. Highlands got taken out. Fist Electra, you got your. Um, uh, you got your choice over here. Looks like highlands was uh, the map taken out. Continents and islands also taken out. Primordial Seven Seas and of course uh, Classical Pangaea is up for them for grabs. And it is going to be a choice between Primordial, which uh, we've seen yesterday. It is being played on standard ridges and a terra map which is the stand-in for uh, Pangaea Classical. Now it looks like uh, Pangaea Classical is gonna be uh, tonight as a choice and uh, now I actually need to put it up on the screen here so everybody gets uh, the information. Uh, classic CR actually Pangaea CR. There we go there we go there we go okay so uh on the one now they're gonna start to go through the active ban phase which will mean uh, they need to ban six leaders in the first phase uh, they will pick four they will ban another four and then they're gonna pick the last four uh, civilizations of uh, their teams a lot of the times especially on the pangea um, classic ridges we've seen them go mostly on land civilizations sometimes you know with players uh, for example like damori uh, they do like to go for uh, a bit of uh, coastal gameplay because you know in and that guy is a god when it comes to playing uh, naval warfare and uh, naval um, civilizations in entirely, especially late game. And we do um, have them uh, probably prioritizing those civilizations that will uh, have bonuses at the beginning of... Uh, um, how to say, um, uh, at the beginning of uh, the game, classical or medieval bonuses will uh, need to be... Um, uh, favored here then uh, that's one of the reasons vietnam got taken out with that early culture with the ability to get the void chain it's a, a very good simmer and i gotta say since malm is also streaming for the cvfr community for the franco folk community and the malm is also the one promoting vietnam for so long he's the one that specialized initially on uh, playing vietnam you can imagine this is gonna be like no i got i can't talk about my favorite civilization how can this be 
but I'm sure he's going to be fine uh, talking about everything else anyway. Uh, Zulu is also coming up uh, second. Uh, looks like Freritos de la Vega do not want to give the chance to um, anybody in the lobby to actually pick uh, one of those. Uh, and we're probably going to see something like uh, Basil at the second also being picked at some point over here or at least planned at some point. It's actually extremely dangerous to let it uh, run wild on the map. And I got to point out um, on the classic ridges because we do have um uh, how to say it? this is this is not a semi map this is the war map uh, there's gonna be uh, an incentive for the players because uh, they might actually spawn uh, relatively close to each other on uh, the map uh, there will be an incentive uh, for the players to um, go against each other from an earlier stage in the game than usual so we might see civilization like macedon for example picking up a, a choice over here just because it has those uh, hetaris and of course he passed this its ability to get that science with uh, the kills and um, easy easy options to go for his uh, general uh, of course um, it looks like they did take out the uh, goal which is uh, not a very powerful civilization on uh, defense uh, it uh, later on in the game it has the insane production capabilities so the players uh, do want to take that um uh, out from the table. Uh, also, Gran Colombia uh, has been receiving uh, quite a bit of uh, good feedback over here and also has been receiving a lot more picks and bans in the last uh, period since it did get uh, reworked a little bit. In the um, uh, BBG update, uh, it got its um, extra movement back and those units, man, those units are very hard to come back. They're very hard to counter. Uh, now we're gonna need to see what they're gonna do with uh, the last two uh, bands over here. I do have uh, quite a few civilizations in mind that are extremely dangerous on this map. Yes, uh, go Coupe Golf. Oh wait, Tito, this is actually uh, standing for uh, Pangea. This is Pangea, sir. Uh, yes, it looks Terra. That, that's how it says, but that's uh, basically yeah, uh, Pangea Classic Ridges. Now, uh, basically, the difference between um, the standard chokes uh, or uh, classic uh, chokes is uh, how the mountains spawn on the map. On uh, standard chokes, you have the mountains spawning according to um, the continents on the map, like between the two continents, you're going to see mountain ranges. Um, yeah, while on standard ridges that doesn't on the classic ridges that doesn't matter that actually they just spawn on the map somewhere it's randomized so this uh, actually opens up um, a lot of the possibilities of uh, the players to um, um, not have chokes between them and um, uh, make the defense uh, with uh, just the land they have available with some which sometimes does mean it is going to be open land and of course where you can field a large army to go against your opponent now it looks like Mapuche did pick up the fifth pan, which is going to be, a, uh, of course, a very good choice of, over here, but that also <laughs> is going to be extremely dangerous for the picks here, because again, they did not pick or ban uh, Basil II, they did not pick or ban Macedon, Genghis Khan, all of those civilizations that uh, have been uh, doing so well when it comes to uh, Pangaea. Then we're going to need to see also Congo, that's actually another good civilization that... Um, so it seems to be overlooked here and elephant guy did uh, make the readout here he noticed it is open and great mabande is gonna come up in on the screen here we do have cleopatra ptolemy actually this is uh, if i'm not mistaken ptolemy um one of the egypts and it looks like ulas is gonna go for lady six guy as the second choice while uh, tiritz is gonna need to pick up um, the next one I'm actually curious who's uh, you gonna play here. We've seen him multiple times trying to go for uh, Catherine de Medici or Rome. Uh, it seems he has a favorite um, civilization or some, you know, some favorite civilizations. Uh, Tiritz is usually a bit more warlike, and it looks like Rams is the second in making an appearance with the culture equal to his 15% of the construction cost when finishing buildings, 30% when finishing uh, completing wonders. That is a lot of culture that he can get over there. Of course, it still has the ability of the Mariano Chera Tarcher, 25% production towards uh, districts and wonders if placed to the river. That, you can imagine, can um, add up to a lot of uh, culture generated throughout the game just because of that um, Abu Simbel um, trait that he has on his leader bonus. Uh, we do have SND actually need needing to pick up uh, the second civilization of Gold by Library, and it is gonna be the one and the only pound the maker we've seen uh, multiple times how this um, civilization can do very good seeming and even pressure its opponents from the beginning with those uh, Okchitans. i would expect uh, the same tonight 
Uh, cool by China Time. Also, this Electra makes a good uh, choice. Hello there, Migman. Hello there, this son. Hello there, sirs, and welcome, welcome. Uh, Migman also saying the double Congo. Yes, double Congo. Funny. Yes, I I subscribe to that. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Uh, also. Um, uh, this then it, uh, was exp uh, was explaining with the standard chokes. Yes, thank you so much for uh, explaining that. Much appreciated, sir. And uh, it's been a while actually since we've seen uh, Kublai China being picked up in uh, the games here. I'm a bit worried about it, and it's uh, of course a preference of the players uh, since it did, it was one of the um, uh, best civilizations to play with uh, in the um, previous CWC. It looks like now not appearing in the choices anymore i don't know what happened man we do have uh, actually two more bands uh, here uh, rome is going to be taken away as an option that well that actually leaves titi with only one option to go for yeah castle de medici it is right black queen well, why not we do have uh, also uh, Spain picking up uh, the eighth uh, ban here, which uh, most of the time in most maps, even Highlands, it, it can do very, very well when it comes to his uh, production capabilities, its uh, stats, its uh, expansions, its uh, everything. The, those trade routes, especially if you do get a continent split, do help it have um, a very, very good tempo throughout the game. Now, two more choices uh, remain here. And uh, again, we do see uh, uh, the teams running down the clock over here, uh, thinking about uh, how they want to play this. It looks like they did go for Russia, one of the civilizations that can actually pressure their opponents very, very nicely when it comes to the culture. Um, one, um, I don't know, picking Russia against Ramses does seem like it's a bit, uh, a bit hard. But anyway... Um, on Pangea especially, sometimes you don't get a lot of um, Tundra. Yes, you do have the chance of getting enough Tundra to uh, develop your empire there. Uh, although, sometimes it happens that uh, you don't get uh, to benefit that much uh, with uh, Russia. Anyway, Russia can actually make very, very good seeming in uh, other lands as well. Uh, especially Grasslands when it has a lot of uh, food. So, I wouldn't really take it out from um, the options of the players here. We do have uh, one more choice for them to go for. Any Jarwiga enjoys. Oh, that that's actually a very good one as well. Uh, it it has a later timing than usual, needing Reformed Church to actually get its uh, unique unit. But I do believe you're right, sir. You are right. I think uh, Jarwiga would have been a nice addition to them. We're going to need to see if that happens. Hey, Trinda! Hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, hello, everybody. Good and abend, good and abend. Welcome. We do have Trinda in the house. Good evening, sir. Are you ready for the next CWC? I see uh, you did list your team over there in the Wildcraft Tournament. Ooh, let, let's go, Trinda. I do want to give a big shout out to the man over here. He has been streaming a lot of uh, his games over here, and there's a lot, of, a lot to learn from him. So uh, make sure you actually give him a follow over there. Um, also, a new Sharon. Good evening, sir, and hello, hello. Uh, we do need to see what's uh, going on here with the last uh, bands. Uh, it looks like um, Hungary is going to pick up the tenth choice, the tenth band. And yes, uh, Hungary. We've seen it multiple times, uh, doing so well against. Um, his opponents, even in a war situation, he did manage to apply the pressure uh, uh, across the map against other nations that he was warring uh, and uh, managed to um, uh, get the win for his team. Now, it's not going to be available in the game because, as you can see, it did get taken out in the active ban phase. Under the gun is going to go for the double Congo. We do have Movemba Adzinga over here coming up for um, under the gun. Looks like on one side, we're going to have uh, Mubande. And on the other side, Movemba. We're going to see which one of those um, will happen. Well, uh, the husband or the wife, you know? Like, w what's going to be? What's going to be? The original Congo or the made-up Congo? <laughs> you know, what's it going to be, man? We do have a legend also going for Hojo Tokimun over here. Japan... Um, uh, seems to be uh, picked and it is actually a bit surprising but like I was saying it's not unusual to actually see uh, civilizations like um, naval ones especially Japan over here uh, picked up on Pangea map well 
you know, we'll see. We'll see if they actually have an option to trade on the coast. It uh, might um, end up uh, creating a lot of gold for them. A lot of uh, economy uh, can be made with that. Very, very nice. And DGS is going to go with uh, the last pick here. He's still thinking how he should approach this. Uh, with uh, On one side, we do... Oh, oh, oh! Jarwiga enjoy Any Jarwiga enjoys in the house? Let's hear it out. Give it up for DGS picking up Jarwiga. Yes, yes, look at that piece Electra, man, 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 oh man, he did go for it. We might actually see those Wing Hassans uh, push an opponent exactly at the correct time. We uh, will need to see what kind of religion he's going to go for. Usually it is, of course, reliquaries, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, we do see something else being picked up by the players. And now Tithub is going to need to finish this uh, up with his civilization. And that's going to be the fourth, fourth choice for um, uh, Team Freritos. They already have Lady Six Sky. They have Ramses the Second. They have Movemba Zinga. The power to go against their opponents and now i'm thinking okay t-tube is it gonna be captain de medici is it gonna be something i, I don't know something funny with all, uh, captain de medici the black queen man call it out bro call it out hungry 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 yeah we do have uh, hungry hungry being banned over here um okay there we go we got it with all the civilizations in the game snd with uh, nzinga uh, on one side we do have um gold by library with uh, nzinga mobande pound maker uh, hojo and um poland while on the other side we're gonna have the original congo on um uh, Freitas de la Vega, he's, they're also going to have the benefits of Catherine de Medici and I do see, of course, they need to uh, pick up from Ramses the second and um, the, what was the the initial one? Oh, what was the second pick here? Uh, Maya, I think Maya, if I remember correctly, it's Maya. Uh, did I see that? Yeah, yeah, they, they did take it out. They did take it out, man. I just want to figure out if I do have a zero MS, so I don't actually need to rejoin here. Should be fine. Yeah, I should have um, MS to everybody. And the players are starting to uh, make their choices when it comes to the higher priority in the slots. Uh, and as you can see here, SND is actually uh, coming up with the first slot on Nzinga Mubande. We got Ulas here on uh, Ramses the second, Tirits on Lady Six Sky, Le and Legenda on uh, Poundmaker, uh, Under the Gun on Catherine de Medici. This is surprising, by the way. Under the Gun on Catherine de Medici is actually very surprising to me. Uh, then we do have Elephant Guy on Jarwiga, DGS on uh, Japan, Hojo, and T-Tube is gonna be the one with Movember Adzinga. Vlod D9, thank you so much for uh, the follows and welcome to the stream. Oh, we're just a few seconds away from uh, having uh, a rejoin here from under the gun so he can uh, fix his zero MS to everybody else. And uh, we're gonna need to see what the map will look like. Uh, I do wanna put up the prediction right now, actually, who, uh, how many remaps. Uh, we're gonna put it up for five uh, minutes. And since this is gonna be Pangea, we might actually see a few remaps, uh, but it's not unheard of that the players will go for zero remaps. Of course, the uh, player spawns, uh, their quality, um, adjacency to each other, uh, neighborhoods and so on will matter quite a bit here. And we're going to need to um, uh, check it out on a case-by-case -case, uh, basis uh, to actually see if um, they're going to be fine or not with, their spawn, with the spawns they have. Uh, of course, um, they do have... Uh, Actually, wait, they don't have that many. Well, I guess it is the Nzinga Mubande that might uh, end up on a continent split, which is not going to be nice. And Zinga Mubande is kind of land dependent in the sense that it gets that home continent with the 10% on all yields and non-capital cities on foreign continents receive minus 15 all to all yields. So it's a big penalty of actually um, settling on another continent. Uh, makes you um, try to get as many cities on a single continent as possible. And you can imagine... Yeah, that's exactly what he's uh, gonna try to do. If it does get a weird continent split, it's gonna be very weird. Uh, don't forget about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Axis. So oh, I was just talking about that, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, by the way, for the suggestion. Uh, I had my own triple continent split a few days ago. Oh, that might have been. That is painful, man. This Electra, that actually feels very painful. Triple continent split uh, Nzinga Mubande. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Into your neighbors. Here you go. You do what you need to do, man. It is what it is. 
Okay, we just need Tiju to actually connect. I'm not sure exactly what uh, he's doing here. Uh, and we're going to need to see how uh, this is going to develop. I don't want to double check my messages here. Uh, 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 uh. One second. Okay. Start it up. Start it up. It does seem like TTUP is uh, taking his uh, good old time here to uh, get in uh, the lobby. It, well, it, it's fine. Maybe he uh, needed to update something or change something. I don't know. Sometimes it does happen that uh, the game just uh, says it's connecting and it takes a long time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, TTUP is connected. Everybody's connected. We just need the uh, man to ready up and uh, we can go. Okay, there we go. In the last 10 seconds, he ready it up. Let's go. We got a countdown here. Three, two, one. And we're going to get to see the first uh, maps. Uh, we have seen actually multiple times uh, how in the games, uh, Pangea does um, actually spawn quite weirdly with uh, some uh, peninsulas over there, two tile peninsulas and some, something like that that span a long, uh, a long way. Now, we're going to need to see if that's actually going to be one of the um, uh, map generations in this game. While um, now we do need to see who's going to be next to each other. Uh, it's uh, quite a chaos if you actually have uh, teams, of course, uh, mingled with other teams over there. In the middle of the map, we're going to need to see if it is going to be an east versus west. We're going to need to see also the quality of uh, Kree's land. And yeah, there we go. I was talking about how is this Pangea, man? Did anybody spawn on this Thailand with this? Is this a poor soul over here? No. But what is this land? How, how can this be, man? There's like, oh my God. Guys, guys, this is uh, this is chaos unlimited on the map. Can you imagine uh, having this kind of a spawn here with uh, this uh, tiny islands uh, on the west side that will leave so little space for them to actually develop their empires? <laughs> oh, nice. We're going to have action from the beginning of the game. Uh, yeah, Pangea and its belt. <laughs> Toxic Brain, hello there, sir. Ave Machiavelli, hello and good evening, sir. Good evening, Taruga Monument. Yes, let's go, let's go. Taruga and uh, I see Lahore is going Monument first. Man, they learn from the best, man. They learn from the players. We do have uh, Poland to talk about first in the northwest uh, quarter of the map here. It looks like he is gonna have his um. Uh, pick up the litter here with a possible choice underneath his capital uh, to just settle and I think that's going to be a good choice there. He does have a rice style to the south and um, from what I do see um, a good river network to develop his cities on the east side and the north. Uh, might even go, you know, at least one city on the cliffs of Dover here. He has uh, two tools around his cities and a few mountains for good measure. Unfortunately, that's a volcano next to him. So if it explodes, you know population tends to die that's a bit of a problem not to mention the tiles will get hit at least the uh, tiles getting hit uh, do mean most of the time they're gonna get um, extra bonuses from fertility you know sometimes you get more food sometimes you get more production and so on it's uh, it makes it a little bit better you know <laughs> workable now we do have uh, next to him to the east side congo and this is the moment of truth this is uh, movember uh, this is actually mubande right this is mubande if i'm not mistaken okay okay so he does have a continent split but it is it is good it is good so he can settle at least one city here one city here one city here all good man all good it looks like he's uh, he actually moved on the deer tile and from what i do see he has um good additional settles on the north part of the continent of europe but that will put him closer to egypt oh my god this is oh okay. guys 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 this is not a good matchup this is not a good matchup we got uh, these uh, congonian units the unique units that do have the plus 10 uh, against ranged and on the other side we got egypt with manianus <laughs> ranged units as a unique unit oh no man face palm if i wouldn't have had the, the hat i would definitely psh, hate face palm myself right now this is exactly what you don't want in the game 
Anyway, uh, looking at um, Egypt over here, he's going to have uh, quite a bit of floodable terrain to the north and uh, quite a few rivers uh, for him to develop cities on. Good ones to actually get second settles. Uh, the dice style actually does wink at me uh, over here for some uh, early pantheon and uh, not needing to actually put up the um, uh, gold king card. Uh, looks like he is uh, also going to be incentivized to go and get that location to the south, which is going to be probably like one city there, one city from Congo and then... Boom! Go to war against each other. Uh, we do need to see how uh, Congo is uh, going to manage to push Egypt and how Egypt will develop uh, his cities against Congo. And of course his units, his uh, military uh, power. Uh, in the south, it looks like we do have uh, the city of Paris and it uh, looks like uh, we do have under the gun with uh, the option to actually go against Congo with Guard Imperial. So the, uh, uh, actually, no, not. <laughs> I was thinking Red Coast, not with the option. He doesn't have the option to go against Congo with uh, the Guard Imperial. He's on another continent, but uh, that still opens up the possibility for him to do some uh, bada booming over there uh, with uh, just uh, plain old horses, getting that extra diplomatic visibility against Congo and trying to smack his city's head first there we're gonna need to see how under the gun is uh, gonna get to develop his cities here he does have one south one east and of course you see immediately he's gonna need to go uh, northeast to actually develop some more uh, doesn't have uh, the quality in the land uh, of the land for him for france uh, to actually go in any other direction this will put a lot of pressure on snd which is gonna have to deal with the north and the south at the same time hey liege bonsoir monsieur bienvenue and uh, of course bonsoir Welcome to the channel. We do have a big game tonight coming up. Freddy Tos de la Vega, winners of the CWC, being challenged by God, by a library. In the CPL Premier League, we're going to need to um, check out uh, how they're going to use their remap tokens. We're still turn one of the first map, and uh, they still have one remap token for each team. We do need to see who's actually gonna pick it if you guys don't know leech he's a very 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 uh, entertaining uh, streamer coming up with a lot of games very good player as well has uh, multiple cwc's under his belt and you should check out his stream over there big shout out to the man and the only leech thank you sir thank you so much sir now we do um, need to check out uh, the other Congo. Looks like, oh my god, this is tripling on Congo. He's gonna have to fight his own units here. This is not cool, man. This is not... Oh, this is gonna be so painful. This is, you know, you know what's gonna happen, right? If they don't meet each other, SND is gonna be like, ah, it's fine. I got good content. It's all good, man. I can do this. And then, you know, turn nine... <laughs> You're gonna see Congo units appearing next to his cities. You're, he's gonna see French units appearing from the south. Then he's gonna see Egypt coming up from the north. He's gonna be like, no, get me out, get me out. I can't, I can't. We do have uh, Congo coming up with uh, the scouts. It uh, looks like uh, we do have uh, TD also with the option um, to settle quite a few cities here. A lot of chops uh, from what I do see. And um, quite a few settles with extra food. I see uh, the cattle over there are just uh, next to the rivers. So uh, they get settled and of course worked. <laughs> they need to give the milk. We do have uh, him also with a few mountains so he can uh, get some uh, campuses for good measure and of course you do see, well it doesn't really matter the continent but he's gonna have a double continent split for more amenities. Very nice, you know, acquirement of amenities is actually quite important in the game so you make your people happy. Now let's take a look at Wapcap now. He has triple continent splits here. I do see uh, tobacco. I see tobacco. I see uh, cocoa tiles. I see spice tiles. Okay, but they're not really close to each other. So he can get those um, plus uh, four observatories early on. He's going to have some plus twos, which is still going to be good. Uh, not ideal, but again, still going to be good. We do have him with a free unit from the meteor science. Looks like the gods has smiled upon the Mayan nation and sent them some extra technology over here. Uh, picking that up will give him a free heavy chariot. We do have uh, Tiritz immediately getting a builder, uh, putting down a farm, getting that, uh, well, I guess he's going to need to get irrigation bonus. I do see he's uh, also pumping out a settler in five, and he did actually settle his city on an in. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not see this. This is a plus four observatory. You know the problem with this one? You actually need bronze working to get it. <laughs> oh, no. 
Curtis Love, how has Mubande survived bans? That is a good, that is a very good question. I, I don't know how it survived bans. It, it, neither Congo got a ban here. We got both Congos in, on this um, classical Pangea. A man a beat. Hello there, sir. And uh, bonsoir, Poluche. Bienvenue. How are you doing, ma'am? How have you been? Uh, what is the nerf on uh, Ramses? So that is a very good question, which I'm going to need to answer. Uh, maybe somebody from the stream is uh, going to give you an answer because I would actually need to go through the channels there to actually see uh, the actual nerf. Uh, well, let me finish this up and during the map vault i uh, can take a look Cree legend that is uh, by the way with mickey c watching coming up with uh, horses to the south here and uh sheep tile he does have three resources uh four resources oh this is actually a good start for him four resources that he could improve adding more stats to those um, uh, trade routes he's actually gonna have a lot a lot of uh good the time over here uh, he's also next to uh, japan from what i can see to the south of maya which uh, might pose an issue of course uh, the mayan hulches are going to be quite strong uh, we do have uh, again then uh, getting those uh, two okchitaos three okchitaos moving to the northwest they do know that it might, there is a very little uh, possibility for any player to be in the southeast so they're just exploring to the north here now he gets the amenity away saying <laughs> Okay, Jan Cosway Monk. Wait, wait, you saw Jan Cosway somewhere? Where did you see Jan Cosway? I didn't see. Oh, 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 it is Jan Cosway. We do have Jan Cosway, but that's going to be so far away for him, man. It's not really achievable. You know, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, last but not least, we do need to take a look at uh, Kyoto. He's uh, actually going to have a, a city state to kill over here, Nalanda. And I do see uh, he's gonna, probably going to get to settle all of this coast. Maya usually is not uh, incentivized to settle more than um, one city on uh, the sides of his empire. So he's not going to be that sprawling that far away from his uh, capital city. Six tiles out and that's the maximum. Now we uh, do need to see if uh, Kyoto is going to make good use out of all of this land to the south. He has Mato Tipila to settle on. Oh my god the instant styles over here are uh, incredible oh my oh my that extra production that extra faith over here you're gonna get them um, juicy <laughs> juicy and now the teams guys guys let's see did they meet each other so no meet up in the north i don't uh egypt is unknown for uh congo uh they do know about uh, france to the south and congo is gonna be like lights I'm, what can uh, uh, what can under the gun do to me it's fine it's fine i can take him and uh, we're going to need to see if this is going to be it guys is this the map is this the map what what do you say is this the map or not <gasps> they will remap oh they made a good choice very good choice very good choice they really made a very good choice here i i subscribe to this man oh man mobande in between all of them would have been such a pain um uh we're just waiting for uh how to say the change of the map here Uh, let me actually take a look and answer your question for bbg you were asking how ramses uh, got changed uh wait why is oh never mind there's a new uh see if replay going on let's see patch notes announcements announcements it should be uh, uh this is theodora got a rework uh, uh money fixes okay i don't think it got changed at all actually by the looks of it, it, it doesn't look like he got changed uh, at all. They do need to see him in the games to actually see if um, uh, they, he will need changes at all. Um, new for Magnus, uh, uh, Macedon got something. Uh, BCY, ew. Uh, fix UA, fix Astes, fix Maya, uh, Nerf Mass and Chikanitsa. So, yeah, doesn't look like it um, It received a change here, or at least I don't see it in the patch notes. Uh, that planet the white strip of land is so funny. Yes, Smith. Yes. And we got another one here, actually. What, what, what is this? What is this? Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, what happened, bro? What, what happened again then? Oh my god. Well, I don't think he actually can settle three cities. So this actually might be one of those few cases in which we have a technical, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the, the, wow, wow, just settling on the island over here. <laughs> Kick W, man. <laughs> We do have again then with a possible <laughs> T settle doesn't make it better though, but it does open up a possibility for him to get another city on the east and of course to west side. Uh, it's, it's still gonna be a, a pain, man, a pain. Let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that's that's way too far away so this this the aluminium right and this is gonna be the aluminium and then he's gonna be one two three four five six actually wait one one two three four five six seven to settle here that's uh oh wait that's not the technical that's two other cities that's not the technical man <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he has Kumasi to kill and a few more uh, things to do over here, but this is just not enough land for him to develop a possible uh, city center. Wait, is it three other cities or is it two other cities? Uh, give me a second so I can uh, take a look at the rules over here. Of course, I'm pretty sure they're going to need to ask... Um, um, mm -mm, they're going to need to ask uh, a moderator if they need a remap or not. Uh, just opening up the document so we can see. In the meantime, we can actually take a look at the other civilizations. We do have um, El Congo to uh, take a look at. And as you can see over here, he is also going to be relatively close to the coast. And this is... Uh, uh, gonna allow actually wait this is uh, Titube this is Mobanza Congo this is Titube so this is an opponent of Kree He's gonna need to uh, figure out if he wants to be coastal or not, because of course uh, later on Kree might actually come against him with a few of those uh, uh, horses and uh, at the same time frigates to pound this capital city and take it away from him now other than that it does look like he's gonna have uh, yeah, some initial food over there from the ships uh, some two tools to work um, and I had to see he settled on a 2-2 two -two base because of the hill and BCY. Uh, he does have a river network to the west side that he could uh, take advantage of. And uh, honestly, I did, did definitely prefer the last uh, map's quality uh, of land. Uh, well, I guess it's th this one can be worked as well with uh, some bananas in the north um, for that extra food. Um, it's going to require a lot of work there in that city, though. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to make uh, good reasons of this map, find good reasons for this map, but I guess uh, Tidium Settle is just not ideal. Now, let's take a look at uh, Catherine de Medici. Now, this time, Catherine de Medici has an incredible, incredible uh, land to go with those Guard Imperials to the east side. Tidium uh, is uh, going to be his ally, so he doesn't really want to um, go anywhere, unfortunately, and that actually takes away his chances of using ever in this game whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. what's this elephant guy poland oh my god i mean i guess that yeah that could be guardian <laughs> oh my god this pawn man oh my god and uh, they don't have a remap token available anymore right and so uh, let me actually uh, take a look over here if a player cannot settle the third city including the capital within seven turns of travel time from his capital he can settle seven third um uh, you get a technical remap uh, so it is uh, three cities including uh no wait it's two other cities uh, excluding the capital so three cities total before she building so uh yeah that uh, doesn't seem like it's gonna be a technical there <laughs> and send elephant guys it's, it's probably gonna gonna wind all game over here i'm pretty sure elephant guy is uh, not gonna be happy with uh, what he has here but this is just what four cities and that's it one two three four five maybe on the desert you know get petra with petra rush petra yeah and that that's it that that, that is it the good thing is is at least gonna have uh, some uh, coastal trade routes with three they're gonna generate the gold they need the, the problem is how he's gonna develop his empire afterwards the only choice he has is actually to go against the uh, uh, France and take him out. Uh, BBS doesn't draw the map. Yes, it doesn't draw the map. Actually, it's, it's just there. Uh, isn't Kri, uh, is it there? I guess not. Yeah, no. Uh, also, uh, yeah, if the map is played, it's over. Uh, this is why you don't remap if your spawns are just exactly, exactly. I mean, uh, I gotta point this out because uh, I know a lot of you are uh, listening right now. So I gotta point this out. Uh, Trinda is speaking the truth over there. If you don't have a good reason to remap, you shouldn't remap. Like the, the quality, if the quality of 
native land is uh, uh, gonna be good enough it's it's fine the problem is uh, a lot of the players do think ah oh, i mean maybe we can get better and it's it's a casino style pick over there it's a casino style choice because you can get worse and that's exactly what happened over here so them using the remap actually they shot themselves in the foot even though mebande would have been between three players i'm pretty sure um uh, it would have uh, he would have survived for quite a little time uh, over uh, quite a bit he would have survived quite a bit we do have uh, Thebes in the south here. It looks like uh, Ulas uh, is uh, going to get a settler in E3. He's uh, going to get uh, to work a 2-2 two, two sheep, a 2-2-1 two, two, fertile. Has a decent amount of floodable terrain to the south, to the west, to the east. Uh, he can uh, develop his cities on. We do have to the north and next to the mountains a few fertiles for that um, extra production. And I do see uh, mountains for uh, nice campuses. Uh, my, what's the... Oh... Oh, did it just got plus of oh my god, guys, plus four. Oh, no, sorry, th this is a plus eight, right? This is a plus eight observatory in the capital city. <laughs> Look at this, man. Did it? Oh, what did you hide all over here? Uh, plus six. Wait, with the banana, bro. You get uh, right, banana, banana. You get plus six over here, plus eight over here. Yeah, he has bananas also. That's, oh my god, this is gonna be incredible. Two cities that are gonna be plus six and plus uh, eight uh, observatories. He's gonna get the double card on. He's gonna be so happy with this. Uh, he also has in other cities some more uh, bananas for good measure. From what I do see, he has a continent split, so there are different types of resources. Uh, not really plantations. He has uh, the majority of the plantations actually in his capital there with uh, the tea tiles. I don't see that many other otherwise uh, we do have to take a look at uh, the congo this is mubande he has decent land to uh, develop on actually a bit of uh, a few tiles over there with small kilimanjaro that will give him something uh, even though i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to stay um, a little closer to his capital here uh, nice second settle on the west side getting access to diamonds and i do see he's gonna have a city state to kill in the south uh, japan is over there so uh, getting that city state between them might be quite important for some trade routes um i don't think this is a possibility for them to um, uh, trade coastal yeah, and this lake is way too small to do that but at least uh, they're gonna get a direct route between their two capitals it looks like also dgs uh, did uh, put his city um a little bit further away than the coast uh, i do see uh, kyoto over here is uh, gonna get a setter in e3 and uh, he does have quite a few motors on the east side that he could get his um, uh, things going uh, now the coast to the south is actually quite big uh, he might actually uh, keep on sprawling to the west side to get to ramses at some point and that might be an interesting decision and i now we're gonna see the remap vote now we're gonna see the remap vote another plus three with uh plus four uh this is painful so i mean yeah uh, also 49 hello there sir uh, well, yeah i mean i yeah it doesn't look like they have a good reason to remap this maybe i don't know maybe uh, like francis he has desert to the north so there is a chance they don't know about the coastal settle of uh, creed they don't know about polish uh, land quality here uh, so you know that maybe 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 there's a chance guys there's a chance they might want to use the remap token we never know and it looks like they're definitely thinking about this right that, that they didn't meet anybody i didn't see a word declaration being sent for some um, <laughs> oh the nays have it Oh my god. Oh. Gigamaya. Gigamaya. Oh my god. Man. Imagine using a remap token when you shouldn't use a remap token deciding the game. Man. Uh, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Of course, uh, I gotta say, even in this situation, there are uh, cases in which, yeah, maybe their opponents might actually fail here uh, to get exactly what uh, they need to do. And uh, maybe Poland will get to apply his um, attack power with those uh, winger sides. There, there are some definitions, you know, of winning here. Some possibilities. Kree might be very big, very big over here, even uh, getting on... Uh, on no, the eastern coast is just bad. Oh my god, look at look at the flat land over here. This is so bad. No, I'm sorry. I'm think I'm I, I'm I'm gonna take that back. You know me. I'm an optimist, man. You know, like I I want to see the best in every sport. I want to see the possibilities. I want to think uh, and uh, express this as much as possible to get some uh, chances out there. But sometimes, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> sometimes, bro, sometimes. Uh, China Grill, hello there, sir. Uh, and yes, I will put up um, the prediction of Machiavelli. Thank you, thank you so much for reminding me. Uh, I do have to see over here on vanish prediction, choose outcome. It is going to be one remap. Looks like you guys have won this uh, straight up with 94% of the choices over here for it. Uh, let's actually put up uh, the team prediction first. Uh, who will win? And then we got on one side um, Freritos. De La Vega. On the other side, we do have uh, gold by uh, library. Uh, 30 minutes to go for, and I'm gonna start it up. I, yes, I do need to put the team labels on the map as well while we're watching uh, Catherine de Medici do his thing. Uh, on the left side, we got the Freritos. Uh, I'm just going to call them like that, Freritos. And on the other side, we do have GBL coming up as a standing for uh, gold by library. Uh, yes, sir. yes, sir. I just put it up. I just put it up. Both. I got put. I put them up both. Now wait. Oh, Daniel dumping three hundred thousand points on Freritos. You're going for the major win there. Oh, can you imagine the upset if they don't win? <laughs> Yeah, anyway, let's uh, take a look at their spawns uh, one by one. Let's see what their possibilities are. Let's see what they're doing here to uh, try to make up for uh, their choices. Uh, and of course, for their uh, lacking land, we're going to need to see them use their civilization bonuses, the Pantheons, and um, you know, all of their um, capabilities here throughout the game to adapt to the land accordingly. Now, we do have uh, Legenden coming up with a Settler moving to the west side. He has another one coming up there uh, from his capital city. He did uh, get uh, three of these uh, the resources improved and he's working a lot of gold here five gold and uh, actually seven gold maze underneath his capital with two well tiles and a fish tile uh, giving him a very nice uh, gold income at the beginning of the game. Now, now, he doesn't have that many pastures in the capital. Only one that I can see on the west side. That's a horse tile. And that's about it for his uh, internal trade routes. Which I'm pretty sure he's actually going to turn into externals with uh, Krakow at some point. Uh, we do have him also expanding to the west side. Has access to iron tile on the east. Where there is a... Um, I would say there is a reef tile that he could try to use. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to develop uh, uh, bronze working anytime soon because he doesn't need to. Uh, he did find out he's on a tiny island somewhere on the map. Now, we do have in the north, actually, Poland coming up with already his first holy site. Uh, he's starting to improve some of his resources, especially the amenities here, the truffles. And I do see he has access to horses in the south. Uh, reef tile on the west side, which I'm pretty sure he's going to need to get... Uh, sailing uh, soon um, I'm actually curious who's going to try to get uh, God of the Sea here between them. Uh, we do have Poland uh, also with available iron in the north, in the second ring, and he did put his uh, second settle on the east side there. Uh, Warsaw is uh, next to the mountains with some available fertiles, and I do see a plus uh, three possible uh, campus over there next to the mountain, between the mountain and the um, uh, reef tile. And now, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be harbors here for Krakow uh, later on in the game. And I do see he's uh, going to get at least one more city in the south. Uh, could ideally put two, but come on, let's be fair about this. Who's going to want to put two cities here? Um, okay. Uh, he does have an Alanda, though, which might actually end up to be a pocket city state. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long time until uh, any French unit will get there. Now, we do have France uh, coming up with a settler in 110. We do have uh, the, him working the 3-1 uh, bananas and the 1-3s so, uh, for, um, uh, for, of course, uh, turning them into uh, good yields there, 2-2s. Two and I do see Bordeaux did get settled in the south next to the truffle tiles, which do give him extra gold from the beginning of the game. Two of these tiles will give him six uh, gold. He's going builder first in Mor Mordo, Bordeaux to actually improve both of these. And um, it, it does seem like um, uh, he's going to get not only the benefit but also the option to send that uh, extra amenity to one of his allies, making it uh, quite valuable. Uh, who is on the French continent? Yes, it is Poland over here to the west side. Poland um, with Wing Hussars going against Guard Imperials. Polish timing probably going to be much faster, but I got to point out these uh, mountains over here will give uh, France a decent amount of sign. Oh, 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 elephant guy going left instead of right he's not oh my god anyway we do have a mountain here that uh, started exploding and as you can see uh, france does want to uh, settle near it as soon as possible to benefit from that extra culture and science i do see there's a truffle tile there for uh, extra uh, 
uh, production and gold and uh, we do need to move forward to see what's going on in the south i do see france uh, did um, uh, send his two scouts to the south uh, trying to figure out if there's anybody here between him and Ranzes. Uh, this would have been quite important if uh, anybody would have been here i can imagine that they would have been attacked by both nations here uh, we do have um, the thieves coming up with a monument uh, this is Ramses II, and he's gonna go at Temenangi. He's gonna make uh, quite a bit of a sacrifice here to get some uh, later on benefits. Uh, IWNW will be a city that will have uh, that extra production on these floodable terrain tiles, and uh, the science uh, coming up from uh, Temenangi. Uh, we do have him with uh, access to uh, horses uh, next to IWNW, and I do see he has uh, horses three tiles out from Thieves as well. Um, we also have iron tile an iron tile um, and two tiles out from thebes um he did settle his northern city on a t tile so he's getting already an extra amenity from it uh, keeping his uh, people content over here in the happiness level uh, starting to get the uh, trade routes i'm pretty sure there will be, there will be internal trade routes for some time now and uh, he does have a decent amount of tiles here to work a bit uh, i would say actually a bit awkward with the food um you you do have to uh, make a little bit of uh, micromanagement over here to get everything you need like the population growing at the uh, correct time and uh, enough uh, production that you need to actually build those cities now we do have a uh, next up maya coming up with goddess of festivals already he did start to improve his um uh, he did start oh my god and congo sees this snd sees this can you imagine what is uh uh with ave machiavelli is saying uh iu iunu iunu okay i iunu i okay i i will try to pronounce it like that thank you thank you mm, and uh tirix is more like it's 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 like this like this you like pronouncing oh my god that's gonna be <laughs> man, man for anybody that doesn't know it's it's gonna be quite uh, interesting god of the tea over here yeah god of the tea and we do have him improving some mail styles there and from what i do see of, of course uh, he notices that congo warrior is uh, drooling all over his titans here uh, there is a slinger coming out from webcam now and i do see um, a tea it's it actually getting some uh, more of these uh, plantations improved to the south a bit uh, awkward that we don't see him improving the details to the north i gotta say like th that uh, observatory over there would need some love bro you gotta get some love to that observatory you gotta make it strong make it viable <laughs> Uh, well we will see we'll see what happens here he does have uh, of course uh, the extra culture coming out he's working uh, the better tiles he's working the three 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 two two ones and i do see he already put down uh, his second observatory there which is only going to be a plus two until those uh, other plantations will get um, improved uh, horses next to uxmal in the second ring third ring as well we do have uh, the observatories being built faster i don't see iron oh 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 i see iron it's third ring out from webcam now to the south over here uh, we do have uh, him needing to send a builder if he ever wants to get um, something produced with iron uh, moving forward we do have uh, congo snd already figured out the other congo is figured out his series also uh, and uh, looks like uh, he's gonna settle a city to the north there uh, probably next to his sling or on the slinger uh, uh, like next to the thing on the wheat tile uh we do have uh, monuments and mubula did get settled next to the diamond tiles uh, it doesn't look like he's um, willing to spend that gold to get it back later from the diamonds they might be thinking it's a bit more valuable if they get oh no never mind he just uh, grew into it it's all good or did he wait did he get a monument yeah he did get a monument and he grew into it uh we do have uh, him with uh, available horses in the south he does have iron in the southwest uh, mobula is probably going to be the last city that's going to be settled toward this uh, direction because that's going to be another continent and to the south over here uh, he does have an ally in the form of japan uh, they don't really need to worry about him that much yeah, uh, he, he's gonna be happy. Uh, I do want to see who's actually gonna take Jerusalem. Uh, just Jerusalem is right on the border, uh, and it does look like Congo is uh, not really preparing for any kind of takeover here. It's more likely that Japan is uh, gonna try to do some units to uh, take over that uh, city state. And it does also look like Japan is staying away from the coast. His second settle is um, inland towards Jerusalem, while he did settle on an extra culture tile, the marble. He's putting down um, holy sites and he's trying to get his um whoa god of the forge whoa oh my god this land quality 
all of this land, bro. And he's getting his uh, his settler right in the face of that forest fire over there. Okay. You see, the, this land is actually ripe for the picking over here. Oh, my God. Yes, work it. Everything work. We do need to see um, how he's gonna try to use that faith um, to get a religion and at the same time he'll try to use that faith in the monumentality era. He's gonna try to expand as uh, wide as possible here. And uh, I, with God of the Forge as uh, Pantheon, that, that just rings to me like he wants to go to war. I really like uh, this Geothermos, by the way, it will make him... Um, get a lot of good campuses this also makes me a bit wonder why he chose to go for the holy sites when he had uh, extremely good campuses like a plus five there a plus five there a plus four there they're just so good right here um and of course uh, we do know that there are multiple ways of uh, playing uh, japan which yes there is a there is good value out of the flexibility of uh, getting holy sites uh, looking at uh, the last one here, we do have uh, Congo uh, coming up with uh, no Pantheon yet. He did manage to improve some of his um, uh, tiles, and I do see he's putting down uh, an encampment to the north. Uh, actually, that encampment will help him out defend on the coast as well. It will be another um, attacking point over the for those uh, opposing uh, frigates. And from what I do see, uh, well, it is going to be easy to attack uh, a lot of tiles to attack that one single encampment. Now, we do have uh, him also... Um, starting to connect his uh, second cities with his uh, capital and i do see he did manage to uh, scout quite a bit uh, not a lot you see he basically drew a line through the west side he does know uh, japan is settling towards him he does know about um, where congo is uh, gonna have his cities and we're gonna need to see how he's gonna try to adapt uh, behind this he still has a lot of cities to settle in the south uh, might be that uh, both the mubande and the japan will go against him uh, with a push from the coast here from uh, the Polish nation, the Cree nation, leaving a uh, four versus three situation during the game. Uh, Titube, I gotta say, it's uh, quite, he's quite well known for playing these. Um uh, IRL positions or war position I should say so I'm not really that worried especially with his available um, unique unit his um, 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 oh. I call it the Mububi, but it's not a Mububi. Let me see. And, and Mubeba. And Gao Mubeba. Right? And Gao Mubeba. And Gao Mubeba. Okay, uh, we do have, uh, as you can see, also him already improving his iron tile here. Uh, looks like he does have already his horses improved, both strategic resources available. Uh, he did settle his third city on uh, Volcano, benefiting from some volcanic soil improved there. Uh, also, uh, 1490 is a Giga Forest. <laughs> yes, Giga. Yes, very good land. Oh my god, look at this land. This is amazing. Like a good campus. You got uh, a lot of extra fertility on these tiles. A 2-3 deer tile for uh, some extra production there. And I would have loved to have you if Japan spent a little bit of his gold for that extra production. Uh, it should actually shave off a turn from his holy side. Now we do have him also getting his shrines up and starting to acquire the points for his um, religion. Uh, Poland did get his religion reliquaries with a pilgrimage. He's uh, going to get the benefits of that free relic. And I do see him uh, starting to move his settler to the south. I would really hope he's going to realize he needs to put the city on the Niter tile and not uh, on this builder. Uh, just because of the plus four campus over here on the tip of the peninsula. Uh, it would give him quite a, a decent amount of advantage throughout the um, uh, eras. We do have Earth Gun, especially because, especially because uh, you don't have that many cities. So the higher you get your adjacency towards uh, any district, the better. Uh, those uh, holy sites of Japan are gonna boost campuses. It uh, makes sense. Yeah, let's let's see everything here. Let's see how he, this uh, develops. And yes, indeed, you do have uh, another uh, added adjacency here for that uh, campus. And I'm pretty sure um, uh, Japan is gonna try to benefit from it. Uh, also, what a forest fire indeed! They call the fire burn! Forest is burning! Rafifi, bon somos you! Bienvenue! <laughs> Now, we do need to see uh, how they're going to get their expansion phase going here, but we still have a few more turns until the next. And I do want to uh, double check if uh, they did manage to get more Pantheons. I see Earth Goddess on uh, Poland. He's getting that extra faith from his um, uh, charming and breathtaking appeal. Uh, Paris did not pick one, and he's going campus as first still. Plus uh, two, that's, uh, that might turn into a plus three if he gets a harbor. Uh, Ruin non-freshwater position here with a plus four campus uh, next to it being 
built in four turns uh, he did get one from his capital city only a plus one but he's um he's trying to get the commercials up next uh, Racket that did go for Lady of the Reeds and Marshes, which will add an extra point of production on all of these floodable terrain tiles and also his uh, marsh tiles, uh, especially making this city uh, Iwunu, um, getting um, that extra production going. This, these tiles will be amazing for him. Uh, I do see he's uh, killing a few of them uh, so he can get his government plaza placement and those uh, commercials. And he started uh, getting a few builders out with the magnets establishing in the capital. Now we did see the plantation pantheon uh, picked up here by uh, Maya. Uh, he did go for um, the extra culture from these um, details, and I can't say he's gonna get a lot of production out of those, but at least he is gonna get that extra science point and the extra culture point. He's already on 24 science and 10 guys. This is not even, this is not even 10 30, and he's turn 24 man he's uh, he's keeping up with the science of uh, the turns here oh my god uh, we do have uh, congo uh, also mubande picking up silly patreon goddess and it does look like uh, he's uh, pumping out a few builders um and uh, I do see he needs to deal with the Mayan scout coming from the west side. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to want to move this slinger somewhere else. Uh, that Mayan scout doesn't have a promotion yet. But if it gets hit one more time, it will get a promotion here a bit uh, dangerous uh, the the fact that he doesn't have a promotion doesn't uh, allow him to actually move uh, fast through the hills or the forest uh, so yeah uh we do have uh, magnus uh, establishing us uh, the primary uh, how to say, um, yeah, primary um, governor in the city of uh, Kabasa. Another setter coming up in uh, three turns there. And it does look like he's preparing for uh, his uh, first era, uh, the classical era, I should say. Now, we still have uh, great profits here acquiring. Japan is only on three great profit points a turn. He still has six more turns to get there. It's fine. It's fine. He's, that's more than enough uh, time to actually get the religion here. Uh, maybe the benefits from the religion would have made it a bit worse. And then, then, oh, no, the mistake. The mistake. Oh, no. Mabuela shot that uh, scout. The scout got a promotion. And now it is free. Free. Rome and go against the trader. He sees the trader creating the road here, so he knows. We do have uh, Tirits uh, trying to get out of there from the range of those uh, slingers, and now uh, he's gonna get a free pillage on the gypsum tile, or maybe he is gonna go directly on the trader. I do believe uh, it should be relatively easy uh, to uh, stop him from pillaging the trader with uh, the slinger just positioned on the 1 1 tile. Even if uh, the scouts get there, last move, first move, <laughs> you can make it out there. Uh, shift entering away. We do have. Um, uh, the position of this scout also is uh, putting a bit of pressure on Congo, uh, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to go north anyway, but still it is a bit of pressure on the northern side. Uh, Hypatia first, yes, even Hypatia first, you can imagine Maya is going to get that uh, going, I actually I'm curious, he, no, he's not going to go, he is, I was thinking, uh, is he going to go that greedy to get uh, uh, campus project here but he's not he's actually getting commercials he's getting a government plaza and i do see he put it down so he can increase another observatory oh my god man <laughs> look at this plus nine observatory with a plus six turning into a plus eight soon and another and another plus four here oh my god man oh my god this this, this oh oh my god now I'm thinking, why did they ban Hungary, bro? <laughs> like, or any, uh, like so many other nations they banned in the first wave, they, they would have definitely had less quality land. <laughs> this is unbelievable. But anyway, we do have, um, there we go, Gdansk actually got settled in the south. He is uh, going to make use of that plus four um, campus style that will turn into a plus five here. And I do see uh, he's actually going to have a good harbor, a plus uh, five. Um, he's uh, gonna need. He did go harbors uh, here after he got his uh, holy sites. Uh, he's uh, getting a two, three, ten, one from his capital city. He did replace a few of them from his other cities, and I do see he's um, a one turn away from getting another center from Warsaw. Uh, he already has another center moving north, and I guess that's gonna be it, right? That's that's the land he has, and that's it. Five cities, and he's gonna need to do something. He's gonna need to do a move against somebody. Uh, finally, a pantheon coming up from Congo. 
And this is uh, the um, Movember. He's gonna get the uh, God of Open Sky, and I do see he's also preparing for the fourth and the fifth settler here uh, to uh, expand. It. I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to expand in the south. Uh, the problem is uh, he should stay away from the coast. He doesn't know it yet, though. They do not know about the position of uh, Poland, and they do not know about Cree at all. I don't think they can even see uh, loyalty here. Can they see loyalty here? I don't think so. But let me check. No. Oh wait. Eight. No, no, man. Settler? No, they settler, right? You see, he doesn't see the loyalty. He doesn't see. Like, there are cases in which, like, the land is close enough to an opponent that you can see. This is not one of those cases. He doesn't see anything. If you if you see the loyalty sprawling from, like, so far away, yes, uh, it might be a case. How, how many tiles this is? Two, four, six, eight tiles, right? Eight tiles out. Two, four, six, eight. So it actually stops directly at the land. They have no vision over this. They don't know where their opponents are. Yes, they're going to actually uh, figure out how the map looks, but uh, where, where can it be? To the southwest of Japan, maybe? That's going to be Cree. To the north of uh, Congo, maybe it's Cree. Uh, to the north of Maya, maybe? But that's very unlikely, and that's about it, right? They, there are that that many places on the map where Poland and Cree could be. Uh, Legi Lamentos, uh, thank you so much. Uh, hello there, sir. Hello there. Uh, thank you for uh, let's see, but I really like him. Uh, thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And happy Easter indeed. Uh, Jesus has risen. Uh, imagine a fleet of Wink Hussars. Oh, uh, yes, Eventhal, yes. You read my mind. This would be amazing if we're gonna have Elephant Guy over here pull one of those uh, strategies going. Uh, and uh, we do see something uh, new applied perfectly here. It would be amazing. Uh, we do have France actually getting his uh, fourth settler out to the southwest. And let's see. Uh, Elephant Guy is saying they lost on this map. But still like to play. Okay. Why would you say that though? Okay. Anyway, uh, Cree doesn't uh, need cannabis to make landfall. He is perfectly capable of migrating into the continent. If I were him, I'd get uh, lumber mills before uh, doing that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think he should go. Wait, that is, this is really awkward. Wow. Okay. Uh, it look, it kind of looks like he's giving up, and he's giving up even without a fight, even without trying. He's just saying we either gotta go new map to have like a pickup game. He, that sounds like giving up to me. Anyway. Um, we do have uh, to see what uh, they're gonna pick and if uh, all civilizations did manage to get over the threshold here it does look like uh, SND does have a problem getting his uh, golden uh, 17 out of 19 points <laughs> yeah this, this kind of sounds like a quick GG over here uh, they just accept a lot and player friendly. Well, I I gotta point out a lot of the times the good players uh, in the in the good league, uh, the very good players in the league, did um, force themselves to play weak spawns, so they learn exactly what to do and the timings to overwhelm their uh, opponents. And that experience alone did uh, does make the difference between uh, good players and very good players. Uh, with uh, this is it, I guess this was a short stream, but I guess it was something. <laughs> GG, well played. They use a remap token, lost the map. Uh, do we have a game here, or is it just kick W man? Uh, okay, Ulas is saying that we're gonna just stop because he wants to see Zerator stream. Okay, uh, oh, it's the ZLAN qualifier or something. Wait, what is what's happening on Zerator stream? Maybe we'll actually go and uh, check that out, uh, all of us. Uh, give me a second so I can open it up. Uh, Zerator, if you guys don't know, is um, the organizer of the ZLAN. The ZLAN is a major LAN party uh, with a lot of uh, content creators from uh, the French community. Uh, they um, usually uh, get into one place somewhere, like decided beforehand in um, in France, and they get their PCs there, their equipment and everything, and they just play for... Um, the community pleasure and they also do um, uh, a lot of uh, how to say uh, um, um, 
they also uh, try to go for something like uh, donations for a charity of some kind Every, everything is uh, being sent to uh, a charity while they play in the zealand now uh, i am from what i understand the charities are actually um, uh, differently chosen uh, throughout uh yeah 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 i uh, yeah yeah but uh, the thing is it's not gonna be uh, yeah i'm gonna restream i'm gonna restream um i would say uh one second um okay uh, they're, they're gonna play something else not Civ 6 but uh, it's fine it's fine anyway uh thank you so much guys it looks like this is it i'm not even sure where we get to uh, uh a post game chat but i guess uh this was kind of self-explanatory what happened over here with uh poland getting the um, uh, low end of the map here uh, Kree getting a tiny island it would have been uh, a bit tough for them to come back i still think they could have done some moves in the long term i'm not sure if they would have uh, managed to pull out, pull it off but with a um, you know, possibility to actually take out Congo over here uh, with uh, the help of japan and mubande and of course uh, Kree. Uh, there were uh, quite a few possibilities for them to uh, do something in the game if not uh, of course not winning uh, really or i don't know if they would have won the game but if you if you don't play it out you don't know actually the result um game is over yes sort of senior tesa yes it looks like it's over let me actually end submissions here because uh, yeah it was the la vega did win and it is what it is so i guess we're gonna close this off uh, much earlier than uh, usual a bit of um, uh, a bit of unfortunate here but uh, it, it is what it is uh gotta say this is the first time i've ever seen a game and uh end of of spawn i mean yes and no i mean most of the time the players even with weak spawns they still try to play it out until they exhausted all opportunities to actually win the game if uh, there's always the chance of your opponents making mistakes and of course um uh, thinking they're too big uh, for example and uh, that actually gives opens up uh, quite a few possibilities for you i'm not saying that Ferritos de la vega will do uh, mistakes but i'm i'm saying if you don't play it out you don't know what's gonna happen uh the poland i mean sure yes it's not good not good not good not good five cities maybe my five cities maybe then uh, navy then do something against france yeah not good um anyway uh will uh i will restream uh, zerator uh, so we get uh, to see what's gonna happen over there with uh, the qualifiers of uh oh actually maybe we restream uh, somebody else Let me, wait a second maybe we have another game going somewhere uh papa chilin is playing league of legends we do have uh project cisco actually uh, going for uh, call of duty uh zondax kind is playing uh, victoria 3 well i guess uh, sandro games uh, but sandro games is um, trying to do something else uh, okay so i guess uh, that's what it is so uh, have a good evening everybody thank you very much for uh, the follows for uh, uh, for the subs and everything and we'll see each other in the next streams i do want to see uh, if we're gonna have um uh, game, of course, what kind of games we're going to have uh, during the next week. And we do have actually uh, the wildcard tournament started uh, for the slots in the CWC. Uh, we're still uh, getting all of the subscriptions for the teams. Tomorrow is the last day to actually subscribe your team uh, through the wildcard um, tournament. So you get a chance to win one of those uh, slots. Uh, I do also want to point out, um, have a good Easter. And I do hope uh, you had a good weekend. Uh, Jesus has risen. And we're going to see uh, what's going to happen uh, during the next few days thank you thank you so much sir good evening good evening bye bye and without any warning you'll know when it comes come come